what's up everybody eric here with driverlineup.com world's okay steering wheel holder as you're always checking in real quick with you guys for a video uh, that i'm going to try to keep short because service where we are is complete and total crap um i have like one bar lte so i hope that i can get this video up and i got some weird light going on here like a cinematic glare over here uh anyway <laughs> so the only load that was available where we are in new york <clears throat> allegedly is a load we ain't gonna run familiar with it anybody knows about certain glass jars that carry certain product that uh, they make here in new york you know the load i'm talking about and it was going all the way out to Utah and the pay was not, you know, if it was going somewhere in like uh, Ohio or Indiana or somewhere over there, then I'd take it. But going all the way to Utah for what it was paying, no way. I'm not running 2,300 miles at that rate. Not, not gonna happen, not doing it. So they pre-planned us that, I said, nope. And then they, and then I open up load choice and it says there's no loads available. Uh, so it's possible. I mean, it's Sunday, you know, it's, it's very possible if that's the case. Um, but I know what's up. I know what's around us. Uh, very familiar with what's around us. And I know that some of the stuff that's around us is more of a pick up on Monday type thing. So we're just going to wait it out until tonight. They may have been trying to bluff us. Um, to get us you know try to get us to take that load uh but i'll call that bluff every time those of you who know me know that uh i'll call that bluff every damn time i can't even tell you guys how many times sitting for a few hours has resulted in a load 10 times better uh, so that's what we're going for but anyway i wanted to tell you guys real quick that uh we had a live unload appointment at Walmart up here in New York and Jenna gets out and talks to the dude and says he's like how are you doing today and she's like oh I'm doing good you know I'm going through some weird sickness weird feelings because I'm pregnant and she is she's got you know about two months in almost almost and she's going through some just weird I mean her body's making a body you know she's going through some weird feelings and uh, feels a little bit off her body's utilizing energy and nutrition in ways that she's not used to so anyway she she ex kind of just jokingly explains it to this guy he doesn't see me in a truck and uh, I don't know if he just felt bad for her or what, but he actually asked her, well, would you like to just drop this trailer in the yard and go pick up an empty? <laughs> She's like, yeah. So, you know, there's, uh, Jenna's gonna speak to this in the future because um, yes, trucking is, you know, male dominated for sure, although uh, women are, you know, certainly making significant inroads. I mean, there's a lot, especially with Prime, with Highway Diamonds. We have a lot. Uh, we have a huge, hugely diverse driver base. Um, but I've sometimes seen things on the internet about how um, women can be disadvantaged at shippers and receivers and stuff like that. And I'll tell you what, in our experience, and Jenna is my witness she is hugely advantaged as being she can use restrooms that that aren't ever available to male drivers she gets live loads turned into drop and hooks all the time um and she's just always getting things some of these guys backing right towards me she's always getting things uh done for our truck that i wouldn't be able to do now i do think that they should make concessions for someone who's pregnant obviously uh, but it's just it was just funny it like that would 
hang on you guys hang on sorry guys I had to I had to kill the feed and go start blaring my horn this guy was millimeters from both my mirrors and he was about to hit my mirror like it, it was gonna happen so I had to get on the horn and I go out there and I'm like dude you were gonna hit my truck and no I was watching I could see no you dude I'm telling you the angle of the trailer was going you were gonna hit my truck so and this guy's got Volvo with his crap all bent up so he's hit stuff before but anyway I just thought it was funny that they turned a drop a, a live unload into a dropping hook because that's happened like three times with Jenna and that would never happen with never happen with me I'm just strolling in for a live unload and hey do you want to turn this into a drop hook would that be helpful to you <laughs> so anyway uh, I'm gonna get this one shut down for you guys uh, I do still intend fully intend to do my video about rates that I was supposed to do like a week and a half ago uh, but I never got to just because I got caught up with the truck being broke down and all that stuff so uh, I'm going to try to do that next day or two. Again, I only have one bar. This one's already getting up there. It's probably going to be hard to upload. So, but I just want to check in with you guys. I want to try and do a video every day. But I'd love to know from you Highway Diamonds out there, do you get some advantages um, from being a Highway Diamond? Very curious. I know Jenna does for a fact. She absolutely gets advantages. Um, for being a female driver but just curious to know if any of you experience the same be safe guys make good decisions and as always drive to thrive we'll talk to you soon